composition of functions. So first, let us define composition of functions. So let f and g be functions. So the composite function denoted by f composed of g is defined by f composed of g of x is equal to f of g of x. So composition of function is just like you're putting one or more functions into another function to produce an output and that is a composite function. So the process of finding a composite function is called the composition of function. So let's have examples for you to understand better. So question number one, we have find and simplify f composed of g of x. How to solve for the composite function of f composed of g of x? So first, let us write f composed of g of x is equal to f of g of x. So it means we will put the function g of x to the function f of x. So first thing is we will have just f and we will replace g of x by the given function. So g of x is equal to x minus 3. So our g of x is x minus 3. So we will write x minus 3 here. Okay. Because our g of x is equal to x minus 3 as given here in the function. Next is, this means we will replace all the variables x in our f of x by x minus 3. So we will solve for f of x minus 3. So our f of x is 2x plus 1. It means that the x in f of x will become x minus 3. So our f of x is 2x plus 1. So 2, its x will become x minus 3. So x minus 3 plus 1. So f of x, 2x plus 1 becomes 2, quantity of x minus 3 plus 1. Next, we will simplify. Our emphasis denotes multiplication, therefore we will multiply x minus 3 by 2. So 2 times x, we have 2x. 2 times negative 3, we have negative 6. And copy positive 1. Next is, we will simplify our answer. We have here two constants, so we will combine this one because of their similar terms. We cannot add these whole numbers to 2x because 2x has variable x. So we can just combine negative 6 and positive 1. So negative 6 plus 1 is equal to negative 5. Therefore, our final answer is 2x minus 5. So, f composed of g of x is equal to 2x minus 5. Now, question number 2. Is f composed of g of x the same with g composed of f of x? So, the two variables f and g interchange. The question is, are they the same? Okay, so let's try. Now, f composed of g of x is equal to 2x minus 5. So, let us see if it is the same with g composed of f of x or g of f of x. So, let us solve for g of f of x. So, g composed of f of x is equal to g of f of x. So, we will put f of x in the function g of x. So we will solve for g. Our f of x is 2x plus 1. So we will make it 2x plus 1. Because our f of x is 2x plus 1. Next to that, we will solve for g of 2x plus 1. It means all the x variables in the function g will become 2x plus 1. So our g of x is x minus 3. Okay, so x minus 3. Therefore, the x here will become 2x plus 1. So x minus 3, its x will become 2x plus 1. So 2x plus 1, then minus 3. So this is not the x of g of x. It becomes 2x plus 1, then minus 3. So simplify, we have here two whole numbers, 1 minus 3. 
So 1 minus 3 is equal to negative 3. Therefore, our final answer is 2x minus 2. Now, f of x of g of x is equal to 2x minus 5. However, g of f of x is equal to 2x minus 2. Therefore, the answer for number 2 is not the same. So, f of g of x is different from g of f of x. In third example, we have find h composed of g of x. So, first, we will write h composed of g of x is equal to h of g of x. So, first, we will find for h of g of x. So, our g of x is x minus 3, the given. So, we will write here g of x as x minus 3. We will substitute this one in g of x. Next is, we will solve for h x minus 3. It means, we will substitute all the variables x in h of x as x minus 3. Since our h of x is equal to x squared, therefore, the x here will become x minus 3. So, x squared, therefore, it will become x minus 3 squared. Okay. So, our h of x, which is x squared, becomes x minus 3 squared. Because we substituted its x by x minus 3. So, it becomes x minus 3 squared. Next is, we will solve for this one, x minus 3 squared. It means, we will multiply x minus 3 two times by itself. So, x minus 3 times x minus 3. So, you can use FOIA method. So, first, let us have x times x is equal to x squared. x times negative 3 is equal to negative 3 x. Next one is negative 3 multiplied by this expression. So negative 3 times positive x is equal to negative 3 x. And lastly, we have negative 3 times negative 3 is equal to positive 9. Then we will simplify this one further. Since we have here similar term which is negative 3 x and negative 3 x because they have the same exponent which is 1. So we can combine this. So negative 3x minus 3x is equal to negative 6x. So we will just copy x squared. Then the answer for this one is negative 6x and copy positive 9. So this is our final answer. So h of g of x is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9. Fourth example, solve for m composed of f of x. So first we will write m composed of f of x is equal to m of f of x. So m, what is our f of x? So our f of x is 2x plus 1. So we will write here 2x plus 1. So we substitute 2x plus 1 in our f of x because here in our given f of x is equal to x plus 1. <coughs> Next is we will solve for m of 2x plus 1. It means we will substitute 2x plus 1 in the x of m of x. So our m of x is 1 all over 2x. Therefore, its x will become 2x plus 1. So we will write our m is 1 over 2 its x will become 2x plus 1 so 2x plus 1 so we already substituted its x by 2x plus 1 next we will solve this one so 1 all over since parenthesis denotes multiplication we will multiply 2x plus 1 by 2 so 2 times 2x first we have 4x and 2 times positive 1 is positive 2. So our answer is 1 all over 4x plus 2. Example, we have 5 r composed of f and negative 2. So we already have here negative 2 as x. So what we will do, we will have the same process as before. So first, we will write r composed of f of negative 2 is equal 
to R F of negative 2. It means that we will substitute negative 2 to the x of f of x and the result here, if you can get later, we will substitute the result to the x of r of x. So first, we will just copy r and we will substitute f of negative 2 using the given f of x. So our f of x is 2x plus 1. It means that the variable x here in our f of x will become negative 2. So 2x plus 1, we have 2. Its x will become negative 2. So negative 2 plus 1. So r is equal to 2 times negative 2 is equal to negative 4 plus 1 is equal to negative 3. So we have here r of negative 3. So it means we will have negative 3 as the x of r of x. Since our r of x is 3x, it means that the x here will become negative 3. So r of x is 3x. So 3, its x will become negative 3. So negative 3. So 3 times negative 3, answer is negative 9. Therefore, r composed of f of negative 2 is equal to negative 9. Okay, so next example we have find f of g of f of positive 5. So as you can see, we have more than two functions here to be solved. So in this case, you can use this process. So first of course, we will also write f of g of f of 5 is equal to f of g of f of 5. So we have here, we will put 5 in x of f and we will put f of 5 in x of g of x and we will put g of f of 5 in x of f of x. So you can use this process. So first, you have to write 5. We will start from right to left. So right to left, we will go this way. So right, so first we will write 5 here. So 5. Okay. So since we will put 5 in the function f of x, it means that the x here will become 5. So x into the x plus 5 will become 5. So we can write 3 x, then 4, will become 5, then plus 5. So it is f of 5 already. So this is f of 5. Again, we substituted 5 in x of 3x plus 5, which is our f of x. So we have done f of 5. Next, we will substitute this one in g of x. So our g of x is x minus 2. It means that the x here will become this one. So x minus 2, we can have x. This is already the x of x minus 2. Then we can add minus 2. So we have done g of f of 5. Next, we will substitute this one in the x of f of x. So our f of x is 3x plus 5. It means the x of f of x is already this one. So 3x plus 5. So we can write here 3. Its x is already this one. Then we can just add plus 5. So 3x plus 5. Then we can solve from this. So we have here 3. We will start from the parentheses. So 3 times 5 is equal to 15 plus 5. Then minus 2 plus 5. Then again, parentheses, we have 3. 15 plus 5 is 20. Then we have minus 2 is equal to 18 plus 5. So 3 times 18 is equal to 54 plus 5 is equal to 15. So our final answer is positive. So that is how to solve for the